if I can shift gears to the to the bot real quick. So um, one of the things that Elon constantly mentions is that about the bot is that it doesn't really fit. It doesn't really fit into the whole mission statement of Tesla of advancing the world's future uh, towards sustainable transport and energy generation and all that stuff, right? But then I really started thinking about, okay, so if the bot turns out to be a massive asset and value um, creator from a labor perspective, right? From uh, making things, helping make things faster, helping things uh, that are physical happen faster. And I think about the acceleration of the uh, transition to energy uh, you know, the, sort of the mission statement of Tesla, wouldn't the bot actually be directly on within the mission statement because it's going to help Tesla achieve its goal faster because they're going to be able to have folks at, like these bots in the factories and installing solar roofs and everything else like that over time? Like, how do you, have you thought about that at all? Or, or do you, like, is it kind of a sandbag statement by Elon to say it's not really part of the sh mission statement? Or like, how do you think about that? Like, how do you think about the bot within that context? I mean, if that makes definitely any sense, I don't know. Onto something. Yeah, 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 no, it's definitely onto something because I think there is a labor shortage and that's going to be, but I don't know. Okay. I personally think that's a really, the, the much bigger thing that Elon's thinking with the bot is that he tried to do open AI and he lost control of that organization or it's kind of doing its own thing. Mm. Governments aren't regulating AI. So now it's the question of who's going to build general AI first and whose hands is that going to be in? And he has decided it's going to be in the hands of Tesla shareholders because if it's not, then who else is going to own it? Mm -hmm. And so I think the bot is about so much bigger than automating all these other tasks. It's just about building general intelligence and Elon Musk wanting to do it in the best, safest way and being like, if I don't trust anyone to do it except myself. So even instead of doing open AI and setting a separate company, they want to let do their own thing with that. I'm going to just run with it and do it within Tesla and nobody can stop me. And that's... So it's a little bit scary and weird, but that's kind of, um, I think Elon has decided that this will be commercialized inevitably. It needs to be Tesla. Relative to the labor and the mission thing, um, it blurs the line because I feel like you're kind of reaching to super far in the future. It's like, well, wouldn't Tesla building its own smartphone that was more efficient help the mission because then we could communicate faster and we would all like be working faster too. Like it's kind of gets to a stretch point of just like, mm if society needs this and it advances society, then it's good for the mission. So that's a little too broad, but um, I don't know. I think this is going to be one of the greatest questions of Tesla. And I think that's why AI day was such an incredible moment for Tesla investors. Cause it changed the trajectory of Tesla's future. Like you see the, now, you know, branch of possibilities. Have you seen that graphic? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So to me, we just went on a new branch that I never mm. saw us going on, which is AI robots, not just this clean energy branch. Mm. And that's a very interesting decision that I never saw Elon making, but now he's made. And frankly, takes my end feeling of Tesla from this feel-good, clean energy, benign thing to a potentially non-benign, radically transformative AI robot company that will severely impact how humans change. It's not like, oh, I get up and I turn my lights on, but now it's sustainable. So that doesn't change life. Mm. It's now I get up and my robot starts making my bed. My robot's making me breakfast. I don't really need to see my friends as much because my robot's doing all this. And like, that's just a really different and weirder future that, to be honest, I'm not like in like, yeah, I don't know. It'll make a lot of money, but I don't, it's, it's weird, right? Are you freaked out by it a little bit? Yeah, I'm freaked yeah. out by a robot who will be smarter than me and can walk around. That'll be really <laughs> yeah. weird. And I will not probably not feel comfortable with it in my home. Yeah. Like, honestly, like, I don't know. I it, but, but I'm also like, yeah, I'll be a Luddite. We'll adapt. And Tesla bots, if you're watching, I love you. Like, <laughs> they'll watch this at some point. You know it. <laughs> they watch it and they're like, was Gally? He was hating on us from back then. I've always been to say a polite, like the Tesla bot. Yeah. Like, yeah. We love you, bots. We love you. We, everybody yeah, we loves you. To. Yeah. <laughs> Humanity is on your side. We promise. We're on your side. We created you. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> we are daddy and we love you. And it's also like, who doesn't get cooler than their parents? Obviously. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny.